All right. Good morning, my name is George Love. I'm an instructor at Texas State Technical College in Waco, Texas. I'm showing my students the uh, following rest today. We have a long bed lathe here. Um, I've simply mounted my following rest with two mounting points onto the apron. I'm going to mount a piece of pipe in here and show you uh, just a very rough setup. Notice it's really thin walled. I'm going to go on and put the, um, uh, the rough edge of this pipe into the truck and uh, more of the round edge into, I have a bull nose center with a fine tip on it. I'm going to go on and chuck that up now. And if I'm, not if I'm too close, I'm just going to back these out. I'm going to snug that up without tightening it and I'm going to apply my tailstock. And I'm going to let it draw it into position. Now that I've got a little bit of tension on it, I'm going to tuck my tailstock down tight. If I, if I do too much on this, it will crush it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure on it. I've already set my RPM pretty low so that I can get started and I'll adjust my uh, follower. Notice I've got a lot of run out on here. So what I'm going to try to do is get to a point where I'm very comfortable with it, just supporting it, but not actually forcing it out of center. And I know that happens when my wheel rolls all the time. Notice I'm also creating a little mark in there, but that's okay. I'm going to go on and make a cut down the length of this manually. And you can see as my tool moves, so does my roller supports. Really that's all that's involved. As I get down here, there's a, there's a flat, so I'm not going to keep going. But I just wanted you to get the concept of it. The supports keep it up against the tool instead of letting it walk back and forth. I'm going to back out just a little bit. I'm going to back off my supports. And notice as I back off my supports, it continues to cut. What that tells me is that this whole thing has a lot of play in it. You can see it doing that now. But what happens when I go back in and support it? It starts cutting all the way around again. And I know my support is going again when my wheels are turning. I'm still a little bit out of round, but that gives you, you can see now that, that my pipe is running true, even though it's super thin walled. Okay, that's uh, just a general idea of what I wanted to do. We do this a lot when we're turning long shafts or when we're turning long thin pieces. Uh, I'm going to go in and before I pull it out, I'll go in and back the support out on that. And you can see to some degree uh, the, the motion of that part pick back up, but that's okay. I'm assuming that I'm done there. Um, thank you for watching again. George Love, Texas State Technical College. Uh, this was an uh, application of a following rest on a long bed lay. Thank you.